Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Rich on Rich Aesthetic and today's an Apple Tips video. Now, a little while ago, I made a video about automating a VPN, specifically for people living in China, just because there's oftentimes we need the VPN on as well as having it off. So here's an update to that video, along with two other kind of improvements or other things that you could incorporate into your workflow to make using your VPN even simpler. All right, so first up, uh, this is similar to the old one, um, but I want you to go down into the description and just grab the VPN on set app as well as the VPN off set app shortcuts. That way you don't have to build them. So go ahead, get those downloaded, and then come back here and go into the shortcuts app. So in the shortcuts app, when you're in the main, the home tab called shortcuts, you're, it's probably gonna look different than mine, but as long as you see VPN on set app as well as VPN off set app, you are good to go. Go into the second tab, which is called automation. And again, yours will look different than mine, but then hit the plus in the top right hand corner. Then we're going to set an automation for when an app opens. So scroll on down, find app. And then the first one is for when it opens. So here is open to selected. We want it to run immediately, right? It's supposed to be an automation. And I don't want a notification when it's run, but you could turn that on. Uh, next up at the top, hit choose. And this is for when you want the VPN to turn on for any of these apps that you select. So for this case, I'm just going to go simple and I want it to turn on when I open let's say Barclays and Amazon store card, their banking apps. You can choose whatever apps that you want. Hit done once you've chosen the apps and then hit next. Then here we're going to do a new blank automation. We're gonna add an action and then we're gonna search for run shortcut. Okay, now that action is added. Tap on the uh, variable or sorry, the parameter, and then search for VPN on set apps. All right, good. Um, the name of the shortcut doesn't matter. You can rename it to something that makes more sense for you, but that's what made sense for me. At this point, we're done. So hit done. And now that automation is added to your list. So anytime you open those apps, the VPN will automatically turn on, and I'll show you that here in a moment. All right, cool. So now we need to make the brother or sister automation for this, which is when you want the VPN to turn off uh, based on what app you are opening. So again, in the automation tab, hit the plus button in the top right. Scroll on down to app. This time make sure is closed is selected and then is opened is off. Run immediately again, choose the apps. Um, this case, since I'm living in China, I don't need it for Alipay and let's say the Air China app. Hit done, hit next. New blank automation, add action, run shortcut. Tap on the parameter. Search for VPN off. Oh. All right, VPN offset apps and hit done. And again, here in the top right, this is it running when I open up Alipay and Air China. You can see they are off. One upgrade to this is, let's say you don't need the VPN on perpetually, and you would just like it to turn off automatically when you're done with the app. So what I'm gonna do here is go into a new automation, and it's gonna be the same kind. So you're still gonna look for app. So tap on the plus, scroll down, tap on app. This time we want is opened and is closed selected. Run immediately again, choose, and I'm just gonna go with the Amazon store card in this case. Hit done, hit next, and then new blank automation. Now here we're gonna have to do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna add the action. I'm still gonna find the run shortcut action. So run 
shortcut. Boom. Tap on the parameter. VPN. All right. So here you can still reuse the same shortcuts that you downloaded from the description. So we're gonna tap on VPN on set apps. And we're not done though. So now we're going to tap on the icon of that action and hit duplicate. So now we have two. Tap on the parameter of the second one and it'll open up immediately to the shortcut we have selected. So tap on VPN off, it's right there in the menu, should be right there if, unless you change the names. All right, so now we have these two. Now, what we want is for it to turn on when we open up the app, right? So at that point, the VPN should be off. So what we're gonna do is find an action called VPN. All right, so here, is connected to VPN. Now this action comes from an app called Actions. So if you don't have that downloaded, down in the description is the link for that app as well. So tap on is connected to VPN, the action is added. Tap and hold, and we're gonna slide it up to the top. So this is just a Boolean. So pretty much it's gonna find whether this is true or not. So that means we can add an if action now. So if, find it. All we want is if, there we go, scripting. If, tap on that. And move that on up. So if is connected to VPN, there's no parameter to set. It's just going to be true in the first part. Otherwise means it's false. So if it is connected to the VPN, we are gonna want it to turn off. But if we're opening the app and the VPN is not on, well, that'll be false then. So it's going to turn it on. So put the VPN on set apps in under otherwise and you're set. Now, there's a lot of different ways we could do this. This is simple enough. Um, I figure this is for people who really don't use VPNs that often. So this would be a good way of going about doing this. But there are absolutely like a hundred different ways you could uh, set that up. But I'm gonna stop it at that point. So we can just hit done at the top right. And now with one automation, the VPN will turn both on and off when I open up the Amazon uh, banking app, but it'll be different for whatever apps you chose. Many people, um, especially uh, foreigners living in China, they may have a router which has the VPN running on it. So that means when you're at home, you actually don't need the VPN automations to turn the VPN on and off on your phone at all because you're always connected to a VPN through your Wi-Fi network, right? So the cool thing is in the shortcuts you already grabbed earlier from the first part of the video, I've already added in the actions that you need. You just have to do one quick little tweak. So go find your VPN on set apps as well as VPN off set apps actions. And let's go into VPN on first. So tap on the three dots once you find that in the main tab of the shortcuts app. And right at the top, there's that if action. Um, with the second if action, it says if name is Wi-Fi name, stop the shortcut. So remember, VPN on is the one that's going to turn on the VPN for whatever apps you had set it to in the automation, right? Now we don't have to fiddle with the automation at all. We just have to get the shortcut set up. So there's the action that is uh, get the Wi-Fi networks network name. So you're going to just write the name of your Wi-Fi that has the VPN on where it says Wi-Fi name in the if action. So right here, just tap, double tap that and write your own Wi-Fi name. Make sure it's the same. Uh, Wi-Fi name or SSID would be the technical term. Make sure it's the same as what you see in the settings app. So you can just rename it to my Wi-Fi, for example, if that's what it's called. Make sure there's no space after the word unless you have a space in your name. Now at this point, it's gonna first do the first if action, which is figure out if you're connected to the internet or not. We are. Then it's gonna check if it's connected to um, that Wi-Fi or not. And if it is connected to your Wi-Fi that you have written here, it'll just stop the shortcut. So this will be great when you're at home. But as soon as you leave, Obviously that will be false, and then it'll just continue with the regular automation, which would be to turn on the VPN uh, when you want it to turn on outside of the home. Now you can do the same thing in the VPN offset apps. Again, tap on it. It's the same setup right here at the beginning. Just change Wi-Fi name to the name of your SSID like you did with the other action. 
So hopefully that saves you a lot of time. Again, this can be done for anyone, anywhere in the world. This is not just for people living in China. Uh, just as long as you have a VPN running on your router and that it is how you want it to behave. Now, this last one is separate from the previous shortcuts. And some of you may have bought an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max this last uh, September or whatever, where you have the action button. Now, you've probably seen hundreds of different videos on how to set up the action button to be the best for you. And a lot of that has to do with running a shortcut menu. So when I press and hold my action button, I get a menu like hundreds of other YouTubers out there. So it's not that original of an idea. And if you've watched any of those videos, you would know that there are many different things you can set up in the shortcut, such as what the menu shows you or what the action button does depending on like device orientation and all that but that's not what this video is about this is just about this action here that you see kind of halfway down it says vpn on so currently my vpn is off so the menu is showing me the option to turn it on with that green button so i'm going to tap on that just for demonstration okay you can see in the top right vpn has turned on if i now activate the action button. Now you see that it's the same menu, except it says VPN off with the red button. Super visual and super quick to get me up and running with the VPN. So the way I set that up, if I go into shortcuts, I just have to find my action button shortcut here. There we go. So scrolling on down, and this will also be linked in the description. There's a lot of setup with this. Um, so if you're not too familiar with shortcuts, let me know down in the comments below if you wouldn't want me to make a video on the action button. However, there are hundreds of videos out there, so I do um, recommend just going to do the research with some of those videos. And I'll leave some description links as well for other people's action button videos. But here you can see I've got this, uh, this if action here if actions are kind of the gist of the video, right? So first it checks for if it's a Mac or an iPhone because VPNs behave differently on Mac because it's you know, more open and blah, blah, blah. So if it's a Mac, it's gonna just show me toggle VPN. But here on my iPhone, it's gonna check again if it's connected to VPN or not. And if it is, then it's gonna give me the option, which is just a text action VPN off. Otherwise, turn the VPN on. So now if we scroll down just a little bit, here you can see one of the menus that I see when I'm commuting. And right at the bottom, it has the if action result, which is whether the VPN is on or off. So it will change the, the menu item as you saw, or see right here, to say whatever the text you write in either of these text actions. And these do not run the VPN on and off shortcuts that I have linked. Instead, they run a much more simple shortcut since all what it is is toggling the VPN. And you can see that here. So if device type is iPhone, I have the VPN action, which does work on iPhone. So it just toggles my Astral VPN and you would set it to whatever VPN you actually have. And then on Mac, it, this is why you can't see the actions here, but you can see them here. It sends a keyboard shortcut, which I have set to do this whole thing in this app called Better Touch Tool, which activates the menu bar and then the Astro VPN menu bar item and then turns on or off the VPN. It doesn't work though, because shortcuts that send keyboard shortcuts on the Mac just are bugged out right now. But someday they might work, so I just have it set up for that. All right, and that's the tutorial video. If you enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments below if you are using, you know, action buttons or Apple shortcuts to streamline your VPN usage. And hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want more videos like this. Until the next one, we're just out.